guys, pasensya na ako. Medyo wala akong energy. Kasi kanina pa akong alauna gising. Gutom na ako. Hindi pa ako nagbe-breakfast. At kailangan ko nang mag-video dahil baka malate ako today. So, pardon me for not having a decent level of energy for this video. I'm gonna do my best to still give you an extensive and comprehensive review of each one of the items. Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel! For today's videos, I'm excited to be featuring some super awesome K-beauty products all care of Style Korean Global. So, if you guys remember in the last few videos that I posted, I did a review of the OMG Double Bear Kit. And luckily for me, Style Korean Global chose it as their best review. So because of that, they've awarded me with some shopping points on their website that I could use on whatever I wanted. So I decided that you guys might be interested in checking out some goodies from Fairy Para and Too Cool for Art School, which I've always wanted to check out. So now we're gonna do um, two separate videos for these brands. I was thinking at first of creating just one video for the whole haul and unboxing but I realized that that might be too long and I wanted to really give you guys an extensive and close look at each one of the products so now um, I'm gonna start off with the products from Peripera now I want to start off with the first item that's on my list which is their Blur Pan Peach Milk Blur which is basically a tone correcting primer that also has SPF and can also double as a CC cream. And I want to say that of all the Peripera products that I have seen so far, this one is my favorite in terms of packaging. It's super cute and it's gonna have to hurt to open it. So this is the item. It comes in a super handy tube. Now this product promises to blur out the imperfections on your skin and create that mattified effect. So it says on the website that you're no longer going to have to use a filter if you're using this under your makeup. So we're going to check out if it's true to that promise. Parang feeling ko na padami na naman yung lagay ko. Kailan ba ako matututo? So, what can I say about the product effects? So, in terms of correcting the skin tone, I would say that it did a great job. I can tell by what I'm seeing from the camera that my skin actually looks a little warmer than it did a while ago. And it created also that glass-like effect that we all love from K-Beauty products. I wouldn't say that it was able to blur out that much the imperfections on my face. I could still see the scars and my pores are still large, but this will be great either under foundation or you can wear it on its own. It will help you create that fresh everyday makeup look. So um, yeah, I will now try out the next product that I will layer above this primer. So this is the next item on my tab. This is the Peripera Ink Skin Tint. Also in peach tone of shade to match the primer that I showed you earlier and also with SPF 50. So I think this product along with the one that I showed earlier will actually make a great combination because um, you will not have to separately wear sunblock. So I think the shade is a little too light for me. I probably should have gotten the darker one because right now I think my face is no longer matching my overall skin tone. But that's my mistake. Um, I love the way that the product smells. Para siyang may kasamang pabangong infusion or something. And then in terms of the effect, so uh, judging from what I see on the camera, mas maganda nga yung texture ng skin. It did minimize my pores and also the scars are not that visible anymore. I am just not 100% sold on the way that it's packaged because it comes with a nozzle um, and the product is a little runny so when you squeeze it, it's out of control. Siya. So for the next item on my tab, I have the Peripera Peri Pera Ink 
pocket shadow in dipping rose moment so i believe this palette actually comes in three or four different shades or a set of shades but i got this one because it kind of reminds me of my favorite palette from huda beauty it's like a super small compact version of the new nude palette this palette has got everything you need in an eyeshadow compact so it has that light shade for your base and it's got the colors for the crease and it also has that shimmer shade that you will need for your lid so what i like most about this palette is that the colors are actually perfect to create any look whether you want to go for a fresh daytime look or something for your romantic dinner night with your boyfriend or something so before I try out the product on my eyes, I wanted to say something about the texture of the powder. So what I love so much when I swatched it earlier is that the powder is actually super smooth. The texture is great and for me, that's important in eyeshadows because it determines the blendability of the colors. So when you have a texture like that, it's easier to build them up and just put the colors together. I just wish that the compact also came with a mirror but it doesn't have that which is fine I guess. So let's try it out. I normally would use different sizes of brushes to create my eye look but just to make this tutorial quick and easy for all of us, I will just use one brush size and then use my fingers later for the lid. So as you can see, the colors are very natural and very um, easy to wear. The palette is super easy to use as well because you already know what shade goes where. So if you're also starting out with makeup, this palette is perfect for you to try out. And of course, a Peri Pera haul is not complete without their super popular lip tints. So I've got here not one, not two, but three kinds of their lip products. I know I asked you guys in a survey on my Instagram stories whether you would prefer me to a review of the eyeshadow palette or of the lip tints but because I love you guys so much I decided to just do both of them so I'm gonna start off with the ink gelato lip tint so just to give you guys a really close look at the product I'm going to unbox it next to the camera or close to the camera So you guys will notice that their applicator is shaped differently. This is to better apply the product on the lips for easier use. And it's also supposed to have that gel-like texture. So when I try to do this to the product, it's actually super balancing because of the texture and consistency. So what are my impressions after using the product? First of all, I like this color. This is something that I can see myself wearing on a daily basis. And in terms of the product effects, the texture is actually super smooth. It's super silky. And I love the smell because it smells a little sweet. It doesn't smell like chemical or medicine like most other lip products do. Next, I have their Ink Matte Blur in Goddess Beige. Now, this product was actually created to be perfect for making that gradient effect on the lips. 
That kind of effect is actually created by putting concealer all around the edges of your lips. But of course, we don't wear our makeup daily in that manner. So I would love to do this test the way I would normally do my lipstick. So no concealer. We will try to create that gradient-like effect. So, I like the product, I like the color, I like the texture. I just wasn't able to achieve that gradient-like effect that I was trying to go for earlier. But I'm sure that if I did try to use concealer around the edges of my lips, that would have been perfect. But nevertheless, I still like the finish that the product gives off. This color is also perfect for summer and fall, but this product comes in a lot of different shades that you might want to check out on their website. The last item on our list for this video is the Ink Velvet Tint, which is packaged in a felt-like box and in the classic Peripera lip bottle. Now the texture of the bottle is actually interesting, so because it's velvet, the bottle is also felt-like in texture. Now let's take a closer look at what's inside the bottle. So of all the lip products that I tried out in this video, I would have to say that this one is actually my favorite. I expected the color to be a little darker than this, but it turned out looking better than what I expected. And in terms of the texture and consistency, just like the other two lip items that we tested earlier, it doesn't disappoint. It lives up to the peripera reputation of creating lip makeup that glides smoothly on your lips and it smells great, it's super easy to use, and it's also buildable, so if you want the color to pop out more, you can put more of the product. All of the lip products that we tried out in this video are available in so many different shades that you can choose from. So you might want to check them out on Style Korean Global. And what's so great about shopping with Style Korean Global is that every time you give a review for their product, you will get shopping points in exchange for that review. And they also offer free shipping for a certain amount of items. I think that's a wrap for this video. Thank you so much guys for joining me here today. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe and that notification button so you can check out my videos whenever I upload them. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.